hello guys welcome you all in my youtube channel csp institute so today uh, one more video regarding a range data type the range data type represents a sequence of numbers see a range itself means like sequence so the numbers in the range are not modi uh, modifiable and we cannot modify it okay this is just a sequence Generally, range is used for repeating a for loop for a specific number of times. So maybe you have seen uh, this in like that range ten, but this is data type, not a function. You might be amazed. It is function, not no. It is not a function. It is data type. So it returns. Uh, what it provides? It provides a sequence of sequence of numbers okay to create a range of numbers we can simply write r equals to range 10 so what if i want to print it it will simply show you uh, range 0 to 10 that's it and here the range object is created with the number starting from uh, 0 but as I told you 10 is not included here so 0 to 9 only but the range, uh, range, uh, range is from 0 to 10 but 10 is not included let me show you how r equals to range 10 and I want to print it First of all, type, type of R, then I want to print this R. So now R become object of this range. Let me show you. So, sorry. This is range dot pi range dot pi so here you can see the r is an object of class range and if we have printed r so it is it has been printed from 0 to 10 where 10 is not included how we know 10 is not included suppose in for loop i want to print all these uh, uh, numbers sequence of numbers so what i will do for i uh, in range uh, or for i in r because the range we had taken so print print i control plus s and now print it so here you can see from 0 to 9 but range is from 0 to 10 where 10 is not included so 10 is not included here you can see that okay and instead of r here we can also write it range 10 control plus s so it will also show you same picture 0 to 9 so either this or this both are same method okay so I hope you have understood here. Let me tell you something more about it. The above statement will display uh, this uh, statement displayed 0 to 9 number. Okay. We can use a starting numbers also and ending numbers also. Suppose you may be amazed ki range 10 only. So it will start from 0 only. But you can also uh, uh, tell ki what can be starting starting can be any number like you can start from 2 itself 2 to 10 ok so let me show you how suppose I want to start from 2 deleted this part so let I want to start from 2 so this is again sequence start from 2 so this is again sequence and started from 2 so 2 to 9 because 10 is not included 
the last part and part is not included here so it has started from 2 to 10 where 10 is not included and stepping also you can see the difference between uh, two consecutive number is one so if i want to uh, include i want to mention what can be my stepping also what should be my uh, uh, difference also between two consecutive numbers so that i can also mention here so i can mention here suppose i want two only so instead of one i want difference uh, difference between two consecutive numbers should be two so let us see what will happen so here you can see two four six eight because it is up to 10 only where 10 is not included so next number 10 is not included here so it shows the print up to 8 only okay i hope you have understood here till now so like that so let me write for you what all the argument for this so first argument is if we are passing integer value only integer value so what will print it will print from 0 to uh, this x minus 1 suppose this integer value is x or n so it will print up to n minus 1 if you have mentioned a starting value a starting value x and ending value ending value y so it will print from x to y minus 1 and one more function same function like starting different arguments i'll tell you how it is overriding it ending value x and y and another variable is uh, step steps also step value also step value is h so it will print from x to y minus 1 but common difference between both of these will be in this sequence will be h so it will be the common difference maybe i studied in mathematics in uh, 10th class what is common difference in ap arithmetic progressive so it is same like this okay i hope you have understood till here that's why programming is very uh, programming in uh, python is very easy if we want to do programming in python this is very very easy because it relates our normal mathematics and all okay so i hope you have understood up to here and one one more thing is if you want to change uh, this particular range into list we can also do so okay so suppose r equals to range 10 and now it will return you the range from 0 to 9 and now i want to convert this particular r into uh, the uh, list object okay so what i will do l equals to list r simply i done this and now i can print r also and print l also so here you can find the difference between both of these okay let us print it so here print r so print r because this is the object of a range a class range and this one is object of list so because it returns from 0 to 9 uh, 10 is not included as i told you many times keep this point here last value ending value is not included it is starts from 0 to n minus 1 up to n minus 1 so 0 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this is the list of this range the sequence range okay i hope you have understood here thank you and have a good day